Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, we're back. Do, 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 do. Boop. We're back here with Sip and Lift. Yeah, we are. It's Tuesday, so you know what that means. We get to crack open a good bottle of wine or a so-so bottle of wine or just a bottle of wine. Or a cocktail. You or a cocktail. Or a cocktail. And we get to talk about something we enjoy talking about, which is fitness. Awesome. 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 I was going to this one. Just so, we are getting situated. Uh, yeah, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Terrific Tuesday. And so last week we had a house wine, which, um... Wasn't what we expected, but um, it was a, a nice uh, switch. Yeah, it change it. Nice switch. Um, and that one was in a can. So we have tried small bottles, big bottles, cans, and tubes. 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 <laughs> so we are on the search for the most unconventional bottle. <laughs> I think that is a theme that we're looking to uh, venture out in. Uh, today we have a new um, bottle to bring you guys. We're doing wine today, no cocktails today. I know it's only Tuesday, guys. You guys should have had your cocktails yesterday. Happy belated 4th of July for all y'all. Um, I hope you guys turned up or had a barbecue or saw some fireworks or just relax on your day off because you didn't have to go to work didn't have to go to work thank you i did not have to go to work so we got a chance to go watch a movie um which was nice yeah i liked it if you guys haven't seen that new top gun go ahead and check it out even for all of you guys that have not seen the first top gun still go check it out it you do not need to see the first one to see the second one no it was really good and Thor comes out this Friday. Thor comes out. Woo woo. Can't wait. We want to go see that one, of course. Yeah. Um, so uh, we're going to bring you guys a new uh, wine. Remember, 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 before we get started, let's handle some business, which is like, subscribe, share, and follow. All four of those like, subscribe, share, and follow. And so and click follow. the link below. Thumbs up, click that subscribe button and click that ding, 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 ding bell so you'll get a notification every time we upload a new video. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm watching other people do their YouTubes and they immediately get that, get the business out the way. So I wanna go ahead and say that. You guys can follow us on Instagram. Hey, Jen. Um, You want to join us on the video. <laughs> of course she would like to join us. She, <laughs> no, just want to just talk. <laughs> um, we will allow you to be a special guest. We're going to have to schedule you. Um, but yeah, I've been watching the Facebook, uh, YouTube videos and people are getting those videos out. Those, the, the, what is it called? The. Just doing the announcements. The uh, daily yeah. announcements out the way. Yeah, taking care of taking care of the uh, daily chores of this project that we got going on. So yeah, so remember like, subscribe, share. You can follow us on IG at sip underscore and underscore lip boo gal. I said it in one breath. I am <laughs> <laughs> getting better at it. Get better at it. Um, Today, we are bringing you guys a delicious, delicious selection. Fingers crossed it's delicious. Hopefully. It says it. Fingers crossed. That's what they say. So, we'll see what they say. I don't know. Fingers crossed. We got us a lovely little baggie here. I know y'all know we in Arizona. So, it says, save the water, drink wine. Of course. <laughs> We out in a drop right now. <laughs> so, we're gonna go ahead. Hey, Sue. Shannon. Shannon. Yeah, Shannon. Hey. Blah, 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 blah. If y'all got a bottle of wine, go ahead and crack that open because we got to crack this one open. Oh, 
Hold on. Yeah. That's my alarm. Sorry, y'all. All right. All right. So I'm gonna. I got to pick this one today. Um, babe will pick the next one. Love you too, girl. Um, you can put it in the front right here. Just take it off the legs and just leave. It. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, we having some camera issues. Okay. So, which is like really fun. Okay, so we're gonna bring you. Woo, woo, woo. This one came from Lovely Walmart. Walmart. Yeah, I'll fix it. They can't even see the bottle on YouTube. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to make sure that you guys get this full view of what's going on. Make sure you're seeing everything that we're presenting you on our live or Facebook, on our YouTube channel. We don't want you to miss out on anything because... I mean, that would suck. To be honest, like... You're really gonna enjoy just listening and talking to us. You're really gonna enjoy listening to our commentary. You're really gonna enjoy just looking at our faces. There's gonna be some days where you're like, you know what, I had a rough day. Oh, it's Tuesday. There's another episode. I'm gonna go watch that episode. I'm gonna pick me up, have me a nice glass of wine and toast with these lovely ladies. And I'm gonna kick off my Wednesday a little bit better. So, I think she's got it all fixed. Sorry guys. You see my face. All right, let's jump back into it. I'm sorry, I had to take a little quick intermission. <laughs> jump right back into it. You was right there introducing the wine. Go All ahead. right, so we got this lovely wine from Walmart. Peak the label. Um, oak leaf. Oak leaf. Oak leaf. Oak leaf. Now, this wine has been around since 2008, so it's a fairly new wine. Um, they have a multitude of flavors, multitude. I want to say like, you know, 10 to 11 flavors. Um, they come in bottles and they also come in uh, boxes as well. So um, usually in this size, which is the uh, 750 milliliters. Yeah. Um, in this size and then also a box. But we have picked up two different um, flavors. Today we are bringing you guys the red blend. The red blend, doesn't that look gorgeous? Also, this is in the budget. I don't know what your budget is. If your budget is under $10, it's in the budget, okay? <laughs> um, for that right before payday, I need a drink day, okay? Um, this is a vibrant fruit. Um, Vibrant fruit and elegant structure made by Oak Leaf Vineyard. I don't do that to you. Sorry. I'm really in a good mood right now. Oh. Continue. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> um, a full flavor, rich in color, smooth in taste. Um, they also say this goes with a lot of variations of meals, so it's not a set meal that you have to uh, match it with, but they did mention that lamb pork lamb chops and roasted potatoes so good. i do like that roasted potatoes that um not sure about lamb because i probably only had it like maybe twice and i honestly really don't remember what it tastes like <laughs> so i can't even tell you but the roasted potatoes you get down with that i get get down she get down with that okay so this is a rich complex red blend has aromas of dark cherries, Ooh. a touch of chocolate, and vanilla. Ooh. Oh, and so, so um, you're supposed to also have a smooth finish. So you have the, the berries, which is the cherries, and then your chocolate and your vanilla. So you know, when you mix the chocolate and the vanilla, and then you got a little berry in there, sounds a little <laughs> sexy to me. I'm just saying, a little sexy. All right, baby. I think we need the cork opener for this. We do. You tell me how much alcohol is in this thing. Oh, okay. So, da, 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 da. you guys know if it has a high alcohol content, anything over 12, I'm going to be like, mm. But 
This one only has a 9% alcohol <laughs> content. So y'all know I'm going to be like, mm, okay. I might be feeling it. Huh? I might be feeling it. So feeling go ahead and uh, pop that for us. Let's pop it open. Did it say anything about the smell? Um, It does not say anything about a smell. Got him. <laughs> I said it's a blizzle like this. Nine percent. Yes, girl, you know I'ma like it. I'ma like it. I picked this one out. Gotta be careful with that. Alright. Alright. Do the honors, love. Pour a glass for Tuesday. Look at that. Color. Turn up Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Look what else goes with Tuesdays? Color. Tequila Tuesday. Tequila Tuesdays. <laughs> All right. That color is rich. Red. I just also want to let you guys know this is from a California vineyard. I think it was uh, Regenton. Regen, Regenton. Re I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what it's, it was. It's from Cali. It's from Cali, and um, they're very selective about the grapes that they use in their wine. Oh. That's what they said. They got, the grapes got to make the cut. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, if it's squishy, you know those grapes that fall in the bottom of the grape bag and it be squishy? Don't. Those don't count. Because <laughs> of fact, <laughs> you hate everything over 10%. <laughs> hey. I'm growing. Oh, wow, that's funny. <laughs> I'm growing, Chad. I'm growing, okay? The smell. Okay, let's see what your smell is. It smells what like berries. It smells like. I can smell berries. It, it does give me a nice kind of refreshed berry smell. Um, yeah. It smells inviting. This, this glass smells really, really inviting for as dark of a red. Excuse you. You can't have that. Achilles likes to be on camera, y'all. He's a he's camera. a bug, he's a bugaboo. So tell me your dog's not needy, but with your dog be without saying he's needy, right? No, keep the leg down. All right, I'm gonna let me take this cat outside while she tells you what she feels about the aroma. Okay, let, me, let me take this cat. <laughs> All right, so. For me, guys, the aroma, I definitely smell the cherries. The cherries is very strong in this wine, which I love cherries. Love cherries. So that's that's a Probably one, yeah. def definitely. And then um, vanilla, love vanilla too, and chocolate. Three things that you can't go wrong for bite. Yeah. Can't go and wrong. And it's under ten dollars. <laughs> cheap date, right there. Cheap date. The wine cheap date or cherry shop. I'm vanilla. the cheap date. I'm That's the cheap the date. Cherries ain't no cheap. What's your smell? Come on, babe. It smells good. I told you. It smells very refreshing. I smell the berries. Yeah, I smell the cherries as well. Um, I'm really, really intrigued because I. I kind of get a, a taste ride through my sense of smell. Like I smell sweetness and I get like a burst of refreshing berries um, and kind of like a finishing smell. It finishing taste has a smell. It just kind of like flows really evenly between the left and right nostril. It just smells good. So I'm excited to try it. All right. Cheers. Here we go. Lighter than I thought it was going to be. I right. definitely thought this was going to be a thicker wine for some reason. Like, a, the color, like carry the some weight. The color and the smell, because I did smell the alcohol in it too. It's a little misleading. It yeah. smells like a very heavy red wine. Red wine. Yeah. And it's not. And it is nowhere near heavy. It's not super light, like light as a feather, but it is lighter than what I would have expected. So, for me, it being a red wine, it 
has just enough sweetness for me to enjoy it without like this really really sweet good wine we kind of drink really really fast this has just enough sweetness for me to really kick back and enjoy and sip it yes Same. and enjoy it too like every sip so i've only took two sips but it's been very enjoyable i get a really really cool bursting uh taste of the cherry um as soon as it hits my palate um and then that little subtle sweetness comes in um and then i see where the finishing touches because it goes down smooth it really does so um it's definitely smooth i wish i could taste a little bit more of the vanilla but maybe it was just like a, like a little hint a little accent um on the wine not the main attraction so um i like it it's not super sweet y'all i just want to let y'all know it's not super sweet it's not super sweet chris will drink it so that means it's not super sweet just Thanks. a little ditty just Thanks. a little ditty it's funny we are complete opposite she likes it super sweet she can do the dry. Do dry not super dry but she can do it dry i don't like that i guess i'm dry am i a dry person <laughs> am i a dry person <laughs> tell me i'm not please tell me i'm not i said no <laughs> okay, okay. 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 am i a dry person <laughs> dry eyes <laughs> Don't tell her she needs a cinnamon roll because you're going to make me bake that Ooh, for her. Ooh, cinnamon roll and her one. Yes, honey. No. You know what? This is like a fuzzy brownie type of I would drink. I would eat a brownie with this. Um, you oh, like chocolate. Pie. She likes oh, my, she pie. likes chocolate. She likes brownies. Brownies. The way that I make them. Right, Alaska? He knows. But... I am all about birthday cake. <laughs> oh my god, you made it sound so dramatic. I am all about birthday cake. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, I think um, brownies or cinnamon rolls or chocolate chip cookies. A rice or cookie. Yeah. I don't know about the apple pie. I'm not quite sure. Maybe the oh, one with the crust, but not with the crumble. I'm a crumble kid. But I'm just saying, I think this will go better with the one with the crust, not the crumble. I can also see how this will go good with a nice slab of lamb and some roasted potatoes. And, and the roasted potatoes! Out, that, that will be a really, really good meal with this. So I, they hit it on the nail with that one as far as food pairing. And I may have to put that on the grocery menu and make that next time. <laughs> we coming over to bake. <laughs> I got she you. gonna bake. I got you. I'ma eat. <laughs> I got you. Tell the girls and James, I got them. I'ma be eating. She's just gonna enjoy all the Cause uh, I don't bake. No, it don't bake. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pour me another glass. Oh, Chris finishing her first glass. This is, I'm gonna say it right now on the show, y'all. Oh! Cause you're not 
and my camera. Whose fault is that? Um, I can't help that I got a little bit of hips on me. I don't like how that camera's sitting. Now it's a wee halfway. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't see what we're seeing. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're so silly, Shannon. Well, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You know she be showing off at the gym. You know she be in the gym you do, showing it off. You do it as well. It all off oh, to the my people goodness. Oh, well. my goodness. She is the most discreet person that's ever half the time. I'm surprised at how little clothing I be wearing sometimes. She does wear little clothing. And she it's be getting like on me. me. It's not like me. Ain't that about a... Ain't that about a blip? It ain't like me at all. It ain't like me. Let's get right back into it. We're getting sidetracked. So sidetracked. Cheers. On a personal note. Cheers. Oh, you poured me something. I wasn't even paying attention. Because I love you. Um, okay, so today we are talking about, we are enjoying this Oak Leaf Red Blend. Awesome. Thank you. Um, and we're going to get right into it. My favorite part of the body. My favorite part of the body. Can you guess? It's not the thumb. <laughs> it's not the thumb. It ain't the calves. Nope. I wouldn't say it's the hair. <laughs> Go ahead, reveal it. They just can't wait. They anticipate. My it. favorite part of the body is the shoulders. Ooh. Ooh. Gotta love that. Ooh. Love the hey, 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 get it, get it, get it. Oh, bop, 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 bop. Love those shoulders, okay? When you put in work on those shoulders, those shoulders come in crisp. They looking nice. They looking oil. They, <laughs> girl, okay? I'm just saying, them shoulders be giving me life. <laughs> Whose shoulders are you looking at? Mine or yours? Okay. Okay. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Okay. So, Babe has brought us a couple of reboot beginner exercises while at the gym to hit that target area. These also muscles are not just hitting the shoulders, but they are hitting small little muscles around that area to build up the shoulders as well. So, yeah. lead in with that first exercise, babe. Uh, to build on that, I'm glad you said that. We are focusing on shoulders, but like we said, tank tops. Like we you said, see she got them out right now. Like we, guns out, guns out. Like it's Rick and Morty. Oh my bad, Rick and Morty with the shoulders out. So, like we said on the chest day video, the chest day is a push movement. So anything where you're pushing away away from you, um, is going to work your chest and the secondary muscles in that exercise will be your shoulders. Same goes for shoulder day. Even though we're focusing on shoulder movements and pressing the weight away from us, working the three heads of the shoulders, there are three heads. Three heads of the shoulders, y'all. You are also working your chest and your triceps too, as they are part of the kind of push muscle family. So, I will be uploading a video of me completing this kind of not too easy, not too difficult, straight for you hitting the gym, running beginners, shoulder day workout, and we cap it off first with what I love, dumbbell shoulder presses. Now this can be done in various different ways. Um, the way I show you is just gonna be a, a original dumbbell shoulder press. You'll see things like um, barbell shoulder press, Arnold press, and we'll get into that a little bit later when we get into a little more complex workouts. But for you beginners and just to get things started and run it, just a shoulder press with the dumbbell. So um, you can use this on a regular bench, um, the bench that you can incline up, the flat bench, have it straight up, or they actually have the seated um, bench with a shorter back. Um, Provides more support yeah, while you're those, doing your um, shutter press. Get those dumbbells up here. And I like to tell, um, at first, this is funny. When I first started doing shoulder presses, I only thought, like, I don't know if you guys can see this, that your elbow needs to come down to 90 degrees and then press up. I was not getting the full range of motion. I mean, I was a young, I was 16 when I first started doing this. When I'm doing shoulder presses, whether it's Arnold press, 
regular shoulder press in the video you'll see i have a kind of like a hammer grip and i'm coming here you want to get full range of motion bring that here to where you even feel in the back of your traps uh flexing back there and full range of motion up full range of motion is super important for your um muscle development if you're trying to get definition we gotta go through the full movement for you guys to get that uh -huh. Right. You don't want to short change yourself. You in there, you putting in that work, do the full motion of the exercise so that you can get the full effect of it and have those complete results. Yeah, so you'll check out the very first video you'll see, and I'll let you guys know when I post the video up. It'll be on our YouTube. I might do a clip on our Instagram page. Um, it's the dumbbell shoulder press. Um, weight is going to vary between where you're at, you know, but you don't need to go super, super heavy unless you're really trying to build, like, Boulder shoulders, then go ahead and push yourself. Boulder shoulders. Shoulders that look like boulders. <laughs> Dumbbell shoulder press. They will give it to you. They will do it for you. So, again, <laughs> listen to your body. Don't go out of the gym thinking you all hard and lift up the 50s and realize you cannot get it. It's okay. Let me tell you, I can, I can dumbbell shoulder press like 60, 65, but just working a regular workout, I don't think I go more than like 35, 40 pounds. I'm relatively kind of, you know, like maybe 50, 60% of my max weight because I want to work on getting that full range of motion, work on getting blood to that muscle that I'm really targeting on um, so that I get a really full effective workout. Right, and this workout is also geared for reboot. It's not a burnout or a uh, max heavy max workout. So oh, you want to cool. do it um, in your in your most comfortable, so that you can get a consistent set of reps. Well, keep uh, it pretty, next, keep pretty simple. Like all, most of these exercises are going to be like between four and five sets and like ten to fifteen reps. And a weight that you are able to do, once you say you're doing 10 reps, you want to be able to pick a weight where you can do seven, you know you can knock out seven reps, but then last three, you really got to push to breathe out. That's when you know you're at a good working weight. Again, before we get more deeper into this uh, video and the exercises, we are not doctors, we are not PTs, we are, uh, babe is a studying personal trainer. But we are giving you guys our own point of view, our own opinion, okay? So if you feel that your body, um, you always want to go check with your doctor first prior to working out. You don't want to get in there and try to do back flip, 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 lift all this weight. And then you have not actually gotten checked out by your doctor first. Also, make sure you're in good physical health. Like if you're having knee issues, back issues, wrist issues, whatever issues, you want to make sure that you're gearing these exercises to support those injuries rather than hindering them. Right. Just a, you know, little disclaimer. Disclaimer. All right. Let's get into the second exercise. Side lat raises. You probably actually show them this if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm not all the way in it. I'd rather have done this. So lap raises is arms straight out. Um, well, by your side. You start by your side and you lift, raise them up straight out. You don't want to go all the way up here. You literally keep it at shoulder height and then control slowly bringing it down. Remember, the dumbbells are in both hands. Um, same goes for the last exercise. You want to make sure you're lifting, list, listening to your body. This um, exercise is a little bit more intense than that shoulder press, right? Because I feel like you get a lot of power from the shoulders. Um, with this exercise, it has to do with a lot of a muscle that you're not used to using when you're doing um, versus shoulder press. Like you're getting it from all here, but when you're I feel like it's more of like a, a deeper muscle um, when you're doing your lats. So it's a lot more control and a lighter weight probably works it a lot. Like you, you wouldn't even notice that having that lighter weight is probably easier versus trying to lift a 20 or something like that. Yeah, we'll get into that. It's a little special thing called time under tension that we'll get into that you can achieve using a lighter weight. Um, yeah, side dumbbell side lateral raises. You can even do this with a cable, um, but you'll see in the video I use it with a dumbbell. 
um, is one of my favorite dumbbell exercises to do for shoulder day. And all these exercises, actually, to be honest, with the exception of one, I love because you're working both arms um, not together. You can kind of see if you have an imbalance in strength between your left and right side. It'll, it'll bring that to your attention to where you need to focus on that. Quickly. Yeah. Uh, any shoulder exercise, you're definitely going to notice which arm is weaker. If you notice that one, one arm is weaker, then Babe has a trick for you on that. On to our next exercise. I do have a trick, don't I? Yeah. Next. We go from dumbbell side lateral raises to dumbbell front raises. Like I said, the shoulder is made up of more than just one muscle. There's multiple muscles in there. You have like this cap head, you got the rear delt, you have the front delt right here. So the dumbbell front raises is exactly what it says. We are holding our dumbbells in each hand and you're raising it up just about shoulder length to the front. You can either do them together or you can alternate. I like to do alternate because I know I'm working one side at a time or I'm not compensating my left side with my right. Um, you may not notice it, but your body does do that if you're weaker on one side. Um, and then yes. I also put in the video too, I ended this exercise with oh, actual okay. um, plate front raises. So I just took a 25 pound plate, whatever plate you got, and I finished with as many reps as possible. Same movement, Burnout. but I'm just holding it. And you're just raising that plate up and down. And not only works your shoulders, but you're also getting forearm strength right here because you got to grip this plate. And you're going up and down, keeping that time and attention to that muscle there. It's a really, really, really good exercise that you should incorporate into your shoulder day for maximum gains. And it also helps you with your grip strength because you're going to need that on other exercises. So pay attention to that as well. Yeah. Build those good calluses. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're dramatic when you want the calluses. I don't like hands. them, but they are very helpful when I fully get them in session. <laughs> it, it's like it's, you're feel accomplished. Like I did something. I'm almost there, y'all. I'm almost there. Yo. I still got soft hands though. It's just these calluses right here. For all you ladies out there, like, oh, work it out. My hands gonna be all manly. No. I didn't say. I'm just like, I'm in general. I'm just like, so. Next. <laughs> My, they're strong though. Strong. Take my strong hand. Take my strong hand. <laughs> Next exercise. Rear delt cable face pull. Love this exercise. Is that this one? Yeah, girl. You know what it is. One game over. So my I do not like the rope. I'm gonna just say y'all. It's not easy to grab. It's not comfortable to grab. It has it's the rope that's made out of this like ship rope um that they use on a ship and then with two balls at the end these rubber balls on the end and then you have to grip it in a way so that you can work out with it on the cable machine no matter how i use it if i'm using delt face pulls if i'm doing um straight arm pull downs if i'm doing cable crunches i always have an issue grabbing this freaking attachment you grab the whole, you grab the little stopper at the end or you grab the rope? I switch it up. Okay. <laughs> I switch it up. I can, I grab the ball, then I grab the rope, then I grab the ball, then I grab the rope. Depending on what feels comfortable for me after the third, first, third, fourth rep or set. So it's a good exercise. I just don't like the attachment. Um, for the particular exercise, but what you do is you collect the connect the rope to the little hooky thing, and then <laughs> sorry, baby, you could. and then you have it up above you, and you pull straight back towards your face. So the connection or the center of the rope is almost touching your forehead, and then you bring it back. And then pull again and bring it back. This exercise is not only working your shoulders, but it's also working that top back part. What is that called, babe? Your rear delts and your traps. Your rear delts and your traps. See? She knows. 
I like the exercise. I hate the attachment. We're going to fix that. All right. I like the exercise because the, the rear delt's not a really, really big muscle, and it's hard to really get that development back there as part of your like whole back popping. You want the your little rear delt to pop out too in your traps. So it's a good exercise that definitely targets that muscle specifically along with some secondary muscles as well. But let's wrap it up. And I finish off my shoulder day workout in the video that you guys will check out on our YouTube channel with the seated Smith Machine Military Press. I love just military shoulder press in general. I wish that our gym here had the seated military barbell press, but they don't. Some gyms do. It's like the actual, like, like a bench, sitting up bench, and then they have the barbell there, and perhaps you're sitting here doing a... They have an incline. Yeah, the they have the incline bench, but not the but shoulder straight, straight So I do this on the Smith machine, which is good because then I can get more range of motion. Um, um, I don't need a spotter with the Smith machine there, so I can go a little bit heavy and make sure I'm getting a full range of motion on this. Um, definitely targets pretty much all all three heads of the shoulder, especially if you're sitting here bringing it down as far as you can. You'll feel the real tension right here in the front. Um, it could be a little bit weird for your first time if you're trying this because it's you're sitting there and you're bringing this bar down in front of you and some people if you don't get the seat right you're gonna knock yourself in the head with the bar or hit it you know you gotta make right sure here, yeah make sure that your wrist. position yeah um, make sure your position where you need to be um, check out the video you guys see how I'm seated how I got my hand placement um, but as with any exercise that we give you guys in any of these workouts if you don't have time or feel comfortable commenting us and asking a question about it don't hesitate to ask somebody at the gym um yeah i know like it may seem like people are just kind of in their own little world or they're standing offish but people are actually pretty really helpful at the gym and at the end of the day nobody wants to see anybody get hurt so right and they already have you sign those forms anyway so you can't sue if you do get hurt just by the way that part. so don't be afraid to ask them, oh, I'm too shy. So would you rather be too shy and hurt yourself or rather be outspoken or not even just outspoken, just speaking to someone for some assistance? Like I said, you guys can always reach out to us. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, YouTube, all that. And hit us up. And we have no problem with answering any questions or helping you guys at maneuvering if you guys want to join us at the gym we're at the gym eos here on Alma school in the 60 at 4 30 in the well, we provide videos for you if you need clarification or just want some more information like that is what we are here for um, we want to be able to take the knowledge that we have gained over the years with our fitness journey and share it with others it's an awesome feeling that i'm able to take my experiences and things that i've learned over the years and help her out and she's it's helped build her knowledge and her um foundation with fitness as well to where now she's has a better understanding of how to do things and is able to pay it forward and help somebody else out because of you know just somebody else lending a helping hand and showing them how to do something um so it's super super cool so cheers to that for cheers to that my glass is empty so i can <laughs> cheers sipped it all that seated Smith Machine Military Press um, wraps up the the shoulder day workout I have for you guys that we're gonna post. Like I said, um, five again, exercises. Yeah, there is so many different exercises we can hit for the shoulder, but like we have said multiple times, this is hit the ground running. Um, we're getting these, you know, people that are getting back into the gym or new to the gym or don't have, you know, a really good background or foundation on what to do, something that they can build on, something that helps get them started. So by no means, this is not like my go-to shoulder day workout for me. I'm a little bit more advanced to that. What we're giving you is something that we know that is effective, going to hit the specific muscle that we are talking about for that given video. Um, and... Is, so you have a plan yeah so you have a plan when you guys go into the gym i know a lot of people signed up for new gyms because oh it sounds nice and it looks good and then when you get there not know what to do so we want to give you those a little bit of content to know what to do or where to even begin when you're on your rebooting journey or beginner journey yeah mm -hmm. so we're gonna wrap this up with our good rating again 
I hope you guys enjoy that workout. Try it. Let us know how you like it. Let us know if you want us to add or take away or what you enjoy. Damn mosquitoes. Jeez. I hate these damn mosquitoes. Take all my blood. I need my blood. I need it. I need it. I need it. Um, <laughs> got distracted. Sorry. Uh, let us know how you guys like the workout. Um, feedback is always welcome. And you know what? If you have a favorite workout or an exercise that you like to do, send it to us so I can try it out. If I haven't tried it or she can try it out. Or maybe we'll start incorporating into our workouts as well. We want to build a community where we are able to interact with you guys. You interact with us, vice versa. Because um, like I said, it's all about giving back. So, Okay, so baby, tell me what your score is on the Oak Leaf Red Blend. How many wine glasses do you give it? How many wine glasses do you give it? So, <laughs> it doesn't have, so, it's not like, okay, this is a red one, this is a Merlot, this is a Cabernet right. Sauvé, it doesn't, it's not in a, cat. it's just a red blend, so my interpretation of a red blend is it's just a combination of different red, different red wines in the way, gotcha. And the way that it's uh, produced is, I mean, it's not typical of like a Merlot, like I said, or any other type of red wine. So with that being said, it's with unique. that knowledge, it's yeah, with that knowledge um, and me tasting and finishing up my second glass, the bottle is almost empty, and I love the color red, um, I'm going to give this for the company, for the price, and for the taste, it gets a four. Four glasses, baby. Four. Four glasses. I do wish it was a little bit more, had a little bit more flavor. Like you said, the vanilla, you don't taste that. And even though the, the cherries and the berry comes out really, really nice, I still think a little bit more could be added. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if they use the ripest cherries or the cherries that are on its way to being ripe um but maybe if they use the ripe ripe cherries right right before like when they're like not mushy but hard but little little mush i think that would bring out the cherry flavor a little bit more i love cherries so i eat them all the time <laughs> and then a little bit more hint of vanilla I think they would have more of a powerful, a more potent you know, flavor. Talk, yeah, they're talking about chocolate being in here. I yeah, and I didn't see, taste no chocolate. So I would have, take the chocolate out because I don't even taste it. Same and then I um, bring my own chocolate. I bring my own chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then um, have a little bit more potency of that vanilla. It'd be a little bit more heavier. But I enjoyed this wine. So I'm going to go with Babe on this one. The price. And decent under ten dollars, so I think it was like five okay. something. I thought this was like a two ninety nine. It probably was on sale at Walmart. I don't remember. I know it was like five dollars. I think. Yeah. Because I bought three wines and they all came up under the twenty one twenty twenty dollars. So that's why I think it was one of the five that was. Okay. Um, five dollars, and then also. Um, the color is a little misleading, but I like it and it's sweet. not super sweet. So, um, I would have preferred a little bit more sweeter, but hey, I'm Liz. Not everybody can be like Liz. Oh so, <laughs> so everybody can. Right. I want to be, I want to be like Liz, Liz. <laughs> Got that off the show. Okay. I would give it four wine glasses. Four, that is out of five. Remember, our rating is out of five wine glasses, not out of ten. So, four out of five. Oakley, you did your thing. Shout you, out to Oakley. You did your thing. I can't wait to taste that Moscato we got over here yeah, got later. It might be this week. It might be next week. Who knows? We like to mix it up. We like to mix it up. We like to mix it up. So, you don't know what we going to show next on Friday. Just like you don't know what workout's going to be. We hit back, we hit chest, we hit shoulders. What's next? To give you that good leg day, abs, and arms. And the hip 
And the hit cardio. Come. You don't so, know what's gonna be. You don't know. You don't know. We like mixing it up, mixing it up, mixing it up. Ow. So uh, remember, like, subscribe, share, hit that ding button on, on YouTube so you know when our next post will be. This guy is always trying to be on camera like it's all about him. It's not about him. We already know. <laughs> Cheese and rice. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us on IG. That is sip underscore and underscore lift. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and sip and lift. Check us out on Spotify, y'all. Again, we hear about having good times, sipping wine, and talking about fitness. If y'all want to join us, let us know. If y'all got some favorite wines y'all want to introduce, put it in the comments. We'll check them out. This guy <laughs> over here. Damn, baby, you did you did your thing on that little clothes call. What? I'm almost you did I your got thing. it. Oh, get it. High five me, high five. Damn, Damn you did your thing. Sorry. Show your work out. Sorry. <laughs> I'm building the calluses. They ain't there yet. <laughs> sorry. All right, you guys have a great night. We'll see you guys on Friday. Remember, get out. Stay active and have fun. Because if you ain't having fun, you ain't doing it right. Deuces. Mwah.